Kitchen in the Kitchen, where we're here today with Michael of Soy Boy Candles. A very fun, exciting product, and I will let um, all of us introduce ourselves. I'm Randy, also from Kitchen in the Kitchen. And I'm Michael, the owner of Soy Boy LLC, and we actually make several soy products, including these lovely soy candles. Nice! Well, tell us a little bit about how you came about to making these, these well, wonderful products. True to the time and the season, I started making soy candles several years ago as a result of my family and I deciding we were going to make products for Christmas as opposed to just going out and buying products. And so I started doing some, uh, basically some uh, sampling of waxes and different wicks and, and putting things together and I came up with a beautifully burning soy candle. Well, you know what? Your candles are awesome, but I think we do need to mention that your hat is amazing too. Why, and, thank you and very for, much. And we so appreciate for the season you wearing that because it just really gives that holiday spirit to our video. I'm the elf with the mostest. <laughs> well, we, we assumed that actually. Yes, we did. <laughs> but back to the candles. These are the focus of this little video. And I started oh, making yeah. these candles. <laughs> yes. How quickly we forget. <laughs> Uh, I started making these candles, obviously, as a result of passing gifts around with my family, and they're made of a wonderfully soy... Oh, sugar. <laughs> no, they're not made of sugar, just Oh, no, soy. they're not made of sugar. <laughs> soy. Soy. They're doing great. All soy. They're doing great. All soy. Not in it. They don't have any paraffin in them. And they're actually soy-based candles with made of soy wax, obviously, from soybeans, made in here in America, grown in America. Fantastic. Yes, and Fantastic. the wicks are all natural. Fantastic. Made of cotton and paper filament. There's actually no metal core whatsoever. Obviously, lead's illegal now, but there's no other metal core in the wicks, and they burn extremely cleanly. Nice. So what metal core in a wick, what does that mean to me as a consumer? Well, metal core in a wick actually helps keep the wicks standing straight up in a vertical sort of situation. Okay. Kind of like the hat and the ball, <laughs> but not quite. But anyway, the wick at, with the metal core has a wick that stands straight up, but as the wick burns, it also burns the metal. But with these, par with the, these paraffin-free candles, my soy candles, the wicks are cotton and paper filament, and they're actually encased in a harder wax, which holds the wick in a stable position while it burns. Wow. So it burns more cleanly. There's no metal in the air. There's no paraffin in the air, no petroleum in the air. There's no soot in the air as a result of burning these candles. Okay, and so... Of all the products that you could have made for your family that Christmas when you came up with this idea, how did you end up with it being candles? Well, this is a little bit more refined product than the product I made for my family. Those candles were a little crazy. <laughs> but Not that you can picture that with this guy. No, forget no, about not it. This guy. No, with me, forget it. But these candles were actually the, the, a combination of experimentation and talking to people, getting their opinions on how they liked the candles, what kind of scents they liked. And our scents come in a wide variety. I, uh, we make eucalyptus candles, eucalyptus and lavender. Uh, lemon, grapefruit, vanilla. And why don't we just like get a little whiff of one of these? Well, have a sniff. So what you're telling me is they're Very not nice. they're not common sense. No, I have no <laughs> common sense. So why should I make a candle with common sense? <laughs> these are very uncommon. <laughs> they are extremely uncommon. And wonderful. And I, all can, the I can attest to it. Yes, and all amazing. the scents are listed on Kitchen in the Kitchen. And if there's any scent that you don't see that you'd like to have made, just let us know in the little comment section. Or I can blend you a, a combination that's not included on the list. And now you mentioned something, I think, when we were talking before, that you can use these candles for hurricane, like a utility candle? Yes. The bottom line is, they, obviously, the candles that I've been making all come with a variety of different scents. But if you don't want a scent or you want a candle for a utility purposes, such as when the power goes out or here in Florida, if we have a hurricane and we got no electricity, mm -hmm. then I'll be glad to make a candle without any scents. Um, for a slightly reduced fee, and obviously it'll also still be a very clean burning candle. So then it would make common sense to have your candle. Yes, it would. In that case, it would. Now, you also mentioned, and you may have said this already, but they burn a really long time, right? Why, yes, yes. they do. Yeah. While the wicks are standing straight, <laughs> the smaller candles burn 30 to 40 hours, and the larger 12-ounce candles burn easily 50 to 60 hours. So you really get your money's worth. Oh, in a definitely. Big way. In a big way. Yes. So when somebody buys a candle, they really don't have a need to be a repeat customer. Oh, well, <laughs> but the problem they're going to run into is once they light a soy boy, they're going to want to light more. And then when you want to light more soy boys, you might as well buy a few. You might as well buy more, and they make wonderful gifts, too. So we do want repeat customers. We love repeat customers. And Pitching in the Kitchen yes. would like that. We would. And you can actually find these under the Home and Garden section of the Product button on our website. And we encourage you to go there right now and get your very own soy boy candles. 
I know you're going to love them, and we are just so delighted to have you here with us today. Happy holidays to you, and to you, Betty, as well, and to all of our viewers, happy holidays. Thank you for joining us today. And in closing, um, I heard a song today on the radio, and I had never heard it before, and it talked about if you have Thanksgiving in your heart every day, then it can be Christmas in your heart every day if you're counting your blessings every day. So I would love for you guys to enjoy these soy boy candles every single day and just have gratitude toward everything in your life. Michael, thank you so much. My gratitude goes to you for sharing your product thank you with guys. us and with the Pitchin in the Kitchen family. It's my pleasure. And if there's anything else I can do, if you have any questions, please feel free to contact us at pitchinandthekitchen.com. Thank you.